Whether you're tall or whether you're small, everyone can appreciate the season of fall. The leaves change their lovely hues as trees begin the season's snooze. The squirrels scurry to collect their seeds to store them up for winter feeds. The mums burst with blooms so bright to paint the hillside a dazzling sight. Mama makes some pumpkin pie. She loves fall and so do I. That was I Love Fall by Brandy Peterson. So today we're gonna go ahead and make a slice of pumpkin pie and it's gonna look three-dimensional. So let's break down the shapes of a slice of pie. First of all, you're going to have a rectangle right here. It's a rather long rectangle. And then above that, you're gonna find the triangle because it's a wedge of pie. And then pie crust is its own shape and then a dollop of whipped cream. So let's go ahead and draw that out on a piece of paper. On your paper, go ahead and find the center of your paper and draw a line and that is going to be the top edge of the rectangle of your slice of pie. Then draw the rectangle, make sure it's as thick as your pie would be. Then at your top left corner, draw a diagonal line over and then back to the other corner and that will be the top of your pie. Then draw two small vertical lines at each left corner and a wavy line. That is your pie crust. You don't want it too wavy uh, because you want it to be just a nice gentle wave. Then your dollop of whipped cream. You can place it wherever you want, whatever size you want it to be. And whipped cream is creamy, so you're not going to have any sharp points or angles, so make sure everything is nice and round. Then you're gonna add a plate. And your pie is sitting on top of your plate. And you can go ahead and make a round plate because you have a lot of corners in here. So let's break it up with a nice round shape. So go around your pie. Here I'm letting my pie kind of hang off the edge of it. Then you need a horizon line. This is gonna be the edge of the table. You can try to freehand it but it might be easier for you to grab a ruler and place that across your paper and make sure that it is completely even on both sides and looks like a real table is back there. Now we're gonna make this 3D, which means we're gonna have shading and then a regular hue. So you're gonna need to pick two colors for each object. And we're gonna have the light from the top right hand corner and then have everything else be in shade or in shadow or a darker color. So go ahead and get out your oil pastels and pick two different colors for each object. So the pumpkin pie is orange. You're gonna want a light orange and a darker orange. So one for the pie and then one for the pie's shadow. And then two colors for the tabletop and two colors for the wall behind it. The darker color is always gonna be the shadow. We're gonna use a gray, because we're also gonna put a little shadow on the whipped cream and on the plate. This is the one place that we might use some black as well, so you can also use black. So continue to watch this and take note of where and what shape the shadows are gonna be. Keep in mind that generally the shape of the object is going to be the shape of the shadow. So if the object is round, your shadow is also gonna be round. And if your object is straight, then your shadow is also gonna be straight.